Hi guys, what's up? This is Marcel from One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video. I went shopping to Zara, I showed you the video of that yesterday, just a few things that I really like from this season, and I am styling one of those pieces today, and that piece is the silk bomber jacket, the embroidered silk bomber jacket. Um, yeah. Uh, bomber jackets are a huge thing this fall season. Uh, a lot of people did them, the several, you know, big designers, and then obviously you have the mass fashion houses that kind of pull after and, and, and do that too. So uh, I, this is one of the one of the more affordable options for you guys, and this is how I styled it. Uh, just sneaking into the frame here. Um, so the jacket is primarily black, but like with the sheen, it kind of looks almost like uh, bluish, brownish. Like it's not pure black. And you have the cream color on the side, and some of the ribbing has some caramel notes. The embroidering is brown and um, brown and yeah, red Bordeaux almost like reddish. Anyway, that's the jacket. It's nice and ni nicely fitted, honestly. And I, because of the fit, I actually went with dress pants. These are from Vince. I unpacked these um, on YouTube on Monday. So these pants are pretty. Uh, they're, they're great. I like them because something about them isn't too dressy. So it worked with the bomber jacket. I think I wanted I wanted the bomber jacket to me is like somewhere in between shit, somewhere in between fancy and like street. So that's where I wanted to take the look, which made the sneaker choice also pretty easy. These Versace versus sneakers are the, the they embody the same to me. They're like a classy sneaker. The black leather um, have a little bit of shine to them. They're very, very um. Very dressy, but also straight. Then I'm adding the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This shirt is from Cost. <laughs> I've worn it a thousand times. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. The long line kind of would break up the look. That's why I thought I would try that out. I'm buttoning it up all the way just to make it a little bit more dressy. The, the thing is, in the front, I like it long, but in the back, it's sticking out a little bit weird. So um, what I'm going to try and do is tuck it in, which is that that's when I'm realizing that might be a co cool thing to do. Um, the black on black works, it's both like, one is a little bit more shiny the fabric, but it's still like a sateen kind of um, weight to it, so, so I think they work together um, pretty well. And then I'm actually tucking it in and now. So tucked in, I, I, do, I do like it better than what we had before, but the, the other thing is, it, it's just starting to look a little bit too neat underneath. I think so and I stood there for for a little while trying to figure out what exactly it is I wanted to do with the look that made it more fun and that is what that is as simple as it may be just untucking one half of the shirt really helped me get more into the vibe of the look and then it was really just up to um, grabbing a few accessories I pushed the sleeves up right I pushed the sleeves up um, to make it a little bit more edgy if, if, if you'll let, let that pass as, a, as an argument why. I just rolled the sleeves up, pushed the sleeves up a little bit. And then we got Gentle Monster shades. I can't stop wearing them. I love them. And I got this watch that I hadn't worn in a really long time. 88, um, silver and rose gold with a black face. So tied in the look nicely, I think. And um, yeah, that's it for today. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. If you didn't like it, if you want to give me a thumbs down, that's cool, you're entitled to it, but let me know what, what, what you would have liked to see um, so I can improve. And I will see you guys very soon, probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye.